And this week's Pasha, we find something very fascinating. We find Yitzchak and Rivka finally having their children. These twins, Yaakov and Esav. Why were they called Yaakov and Esav? Esav is Asu. He was finished. He was complete. Yaakov is holding on to the heel of Esav. Small and puny. And the question is, why were they called like that? And why did Esav become Esav and Yaakov become Yaakov? So the Pasuk actually tells us, interesting, Esav didn't have what to do. He was just roaming around the fields, emptying out. Yaakov, on the other hand, was Yeshua Holom. He was learning, he was growing. And that is an incredible paradox. We all want to have everything we want and everything that we feel like we need. And we might be jealous of others that have it and feel like, how come I don't have it? But the truth is, there's a fixed mindset and there's a growth mindset. A fixed mindset, there's a glass ceiling. There's nowhere to go. There's nothing to do. Ace of, part of the destructiveness was because I have nothing to attain. I'm there. What does a person do then? Yaakov, on the other hand, was grabbing onto the hill, saying, this is growth. This is excitement. This is what the Levana is in contrast to the Chama, the Romans, the Edomites. The sun never changes. But the greatness of the Jewish people is the growth of the Mailad, of the birth, becoming that great person. And that's what life is all about. So in contrast to getting disappointed, saying, why am I small and this is so great? That's not what this world's all about. The complete one, the Asu, is the Ish, Sade, hunting, looking for something, not having fulfillment. The greatest fulfillment is actually the Yaakov, of the Jewish people, is someone who is actually lacking and has the humility to be able to admit to that and actually have that growth mindset because that's actually where the pleasure is in that growth of being a Yaakov of holding on and growing and becoming that great person that a person could be.